Okay, so in today's one piece game video, we'll actually be becoming king of Hell Zoro, and to do this, we're gonna have to complete a bunch of steps. So I actually need you guys to complete a step as well, which real quick, hit that like button and subscribe. Step one is to complete all of the requirements necessary to go to the third C, because to get the King of Hell Sword style, we're actually gonna have to go to the third C, which is really hard to do. Step two is to go to the Roblox app shop with some Robux and buy a bunch of clothes and accessories to make ourselves look like King of Hell Zoro. Step three is to get the true three sword style from Zoro in Wano. Step four is to take this true three sword style to Zoro at Onigashima in the third sea and do all of the crazy requirements to unlock the King of Hell sword style. Look, this guy's opponent glyph has just spawned at Punk Hazard, so let's go fly there with. And if you guys didn't know, we do need two opponent glyphs to go to the third sea and actually unlock the King of Hell sword style. By the way, if you guys want to join the Discord server for my new Roblox One Piece game called World Peace, check the link in the description and the pinned comment for tester, giveaway, sneaks, and much more. We're at Punk Hazard, so let's just look around here for a Poneglyph, and okay, I don't see any around here for now. Oh, I found it's right over here. Let's grab this thing, and let's just de-transform and toss this thing, and okay, we got one. Before we get the second Poneglyph, let's just real quick dress up as Zoro, and I can see his face already right over here. Let's just buy this. 40 Robux, there we go, and I can see his hair right here too, so let's click that, and okay, perfect. This is actually King of Hell Zoro's hair as well. Got that. Finally found the pants we need and just got this real quick. And now we also need to get this as well because you guys will see how it's gonna look in game. And look at that, we found it. It was hiding behind this castle, but can't hide from us and we got two. Look, this guy's a sea beast has just appeared. My bad, I kind of skipped the cutscene though. Here we go, let's beat this thing up using gear for snake man and let's snipe this boy so you go jet culverine there we go homing culverine two and yeah this dude is a piece of cake look at this we're destroying this boy and we're probably gonna finish him off with the king cobra and yeah oh we also got a mink essence and now we just gotta kill four more because we gotta kill five sea beasts to go to the third sea as spawn we're gonna activate our hockey and our sword mode so we go let's beat this boy up real quick and oh no i'm actually about to die because of this okay let's be a little careful canine lunge two and okay yeah we beat it up once again we've got ourselves another cb so we'll just cross slash him right like that nice and and okay i accidentally killed him and we got a human essence let's use this move right here the true strongest slash will it one shot this boy and who knows it might just do the job and okay never one shot him but he's almost dead and wait we one shot him. that a cb this is actually our final cb so we need to kill the fifth cb so let's beat this boy up super quick using our dual yoru right over here let's just use canine lunge real quick and hopefully we don't die because that would not be good at all and you know what division c's maybe please do some nice damage and okay should be dead and it is now on the aokiji raid because we need to do this thing five times to actually unlock the third c We just beat this raid and that was pretty easy. So now we're doing the leopard dungeon because I just finished doing the Aokiji raid five times and the boss should be somewhere over there. I can see him right around. By the way, shout out to the devs for giving me the stats I need to go to the third seat and the King of Hell title. Though let's beat this boy up five times. Just beat that dungeon and the music is pretty loud The one out of five done let's beat four more so i'm back after doing five leopard raids and we're also done five okg raids we've killed five sea beasts and we have two poneglyphs so let's see if we can go to the third c right over here so would you like to teleport to the third c and wait is it working all right this was a lot easier than i expected here he is let's ask him so what do we need let's see what we're gonna need so he says hmm you have potential i could teach you a thing or two so we need the true Santorio sword. I have no clue how to pronounce that though. Anyways, let's go get it from the second C. Now we're in Wano at the second C. So here's the Zoro we need to talk to right here. So are you ready to truly master my style? So this is actually the first three sword style we need. And after this, we can go back to the third C and unlock the King of Hell style. So great, if you train with me, I can make you strong. It'll cost 5 billion. Okay, we only have 500 million. So we gotta get grinding. Here's my boy Kaido. So let's just beat him up because he does give 1 billion cash when you kill him. So we're just gonna farm him five times. 
supported that sweet 5 billion. So let's get him with these moves. Nice. Let's get him with Black Mom and damn. We killed that boy fast. Here's Zoro. Let's talk to this boy. And yup, I'm ready to master it, bro. Here we go. Great if you train with me. Blah, blah, blah. And okay, yeah, we got True, Sun, Poryu. And we're back at Onigashima at the third C. Let's talk to this boy. And okay, we can finally get this thing. We do have 28,000 gems. More than 28,000 gems. And let's check our stats real quick. And okay, stats. Come on, open up. So we have more than 5.4k sword stats and of course we just got the true three sword style so now let's get the king of hell three sword style here it is jigoku santoryu but as you guys can see we still need to unlock all of its moves so let's just first off try out its m1s and okay m1s do look pretty basic so let's go get our first move we're here as zoro once again let's talk to this boy and okay so we can get our first move for free so let's just confirm and okay we got our first move so the move's called true hell 1080 pound phoenix so let's just check out three two one let's fire right about there and oh look at that that's cool that is pretty cool now let's talk to him for a second move so we do need one pika dungeon win for the second skill so let's go do that let's just hope that this music isn't copyrighted but i'm probably gonna play some other music over this so here we go let's beat this boy up he's actually pretty big though he's pretty tanky too wait what this would really move okay bro why does he do so much damage what the heck bro so now we're using gear for snake man since i can use my observation hockey with it so yeah let's run around and beat this boy up so i'm just gonna end up buying this skill with the robux because that pika dungeon is impossible and the thing is it's gonna take me way too long to beat it and i really want to get this video out as soon as possible but yeah just bought one of the skills and the next one is called billion fold world so let's check it out three two one billion fold world and wait why isn't it working and okay now and yo that is one cool move one more time billion fold world and yeah this move is actually very cool anyways the next task is to beat mihawk three times in his dungeon so let's do it now we're in the mihawk dungeon and yeah we've got dual mihawk the world's strongest swordsman so this is basically is soro versus mihawk here he comes but yeah we can definitely beat this boy up so i'll see you guys when he's dead We only have two moves of the sword style, but it's so overpowered. Look at this. This dude is almost dead, and he should die, and he's dead. On to the second attempt, and I don't know why this man's stuck in the wall, but I guess that's good for us, so let's beat him up. One more hit and he's dead and yeah now we just gotta kill him one more time for our next move now let's try to beat him up super quickly with gear 5 he should be dead after this ultimate move right here and okay he's dead now we can definitely go ahead and get our next move now let's get our next move right over here let's click confirm and okay we learned a new skill so here's the move three two one black rope dragon twister and oh bro that's really really cool now the fourth skill requires us to farm the king boss till we get his king scroll drop which is a one percent drop here's king so let's beat him up for his scroll drop So he's finally dead, but no scroll draw. Sadly, I didn't end up recording it since I was AFK farming the king boss, but we did get the king scroll, and we do have our next move. It's called Condemning Dragon. Let's check it out. So 3, 2, 1. Condemning Dragon, and oh, bro, that's it. And one more time, Condemning Dragon, and bro, that move is super awesome. Anyways, time for the next step, which is right here. So we need the mode. So we need the king of hell title, and... Look at this guys, we do because the devs did give me this title at the start. Though we've got the next move which is the King of Hell mode. Let's just press Y and activate this and bro. 
this looks awesome and to see if any of the moves have changed and oh yeah the moves colors they've definitely changed and um next move and yeah all of these i'm pretty sure they might just all be green or something let's check out the next move black rope dragon twister 2 and yeah this also changed and our final move condemning dragon let's see and yeah they're all green now so now the next step which is the fifth skill elite range gifter times 80 elite rank headliner okay yeah. so i'm pretty sure they just want me to kill these npcs 80 times 50 times and the king boss 20 times which is going to be pretty difficult to do so here's the first group of people we got to kill so i'll see you guys when we kill 80 of these dudes this should be the last set of dudes we got to kill so here we go and after this we should be at 80 and all right now we just got to kill these dudes the elite rank headliners so let's beat them up too now we're on the last set of these npcs too so let's just finish these dudes off and yeah we beat them and now we're on the hard part which is beating up this boss right here king 20 times in a row which is just insane because he has so much health so i believe i've killed the king boss at least 20 times now and we so let's see if we have indeed killed the king boss 20 times in a row and we also did end getting the king scroll which is yeah pretty lucky i guess but we don't need it since we already pretty cool we got two king scrolls so let's confirm and okay i still need a few more kills now let's see if we do have our new move now because i did just kill the king boss many more times so let's hit confirm and oh we actually got it which is pretty cool so here it is it's called now let's try the move out and i do have my hockey on for this and after this we'll try the move out again but with the king of hell mode on though you go regular ninth style dead man's game look that you'll receive an attack worthy of a swordsman astral blades drawn dead man's game bro that is one really really cool cutscene and move though now we're gonna try it with our mode now let's just turn our mode king of hell this look nine sword style dead man's game let's look at this and okay demon aura nine sword style now it's called demon aura which is interesting and dead man's game look at this really awesome move once again really cool cutscene anyways though we've become king of hell zoro in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you guys so so much for watching drop like and sub and see you guys in the next video